Hey all, this is Jacqueline McGrain from uh, Turnkey Lab Systems and Cannabinoid Consulting. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video because I got some cool stuff from a client. Um, I got some purified CBG, uh, cannabidrol. So as we all know or might know, the CBG is the chemical precursor, uh, enzymatic precursor to THC and CBD, uh, CBGA synthase, and then THCA synthase and CBDA synthase. And so... Um, cannabidrol is not very well studied. Um, it's a very interesting molecule. It has kind of different effects, very different effects than THC. It's non-psychoactive. It's actually a CB1 antagonist, which is pretty interesting. Um, it does have CB1 and CB2 binding affinity. Um, so I think it's going to have fairly similar effects to CBG, at least uh, psychotropically. Um, I've been smoking uh, some of this purified CBD or uh, CBG crystalline material and Really, it seems to definitely have a lucidity, uh, like very good lucidity, very relaxing, um, doesn't have much of a body high. It's definitely a very relaxing kind of CBD-like experience. And so um, CBG um, has been not very well studied, like I said, but it has shown um, some really excellent effects medicinally. For example, anti-inflammatory, especially as CBGA. Um, you also have uh, neuroprotective activity and, of course, antibacterial, antifungal activity. And so it's an antioxidant as well. And so it may end up being a really excellent nutraceutical. And then, of course, you know, it has, you know, synergistic effects with the other cannabinoids. As we all know, you know, CBD plus THC plus a little bit of CBN, you know, when you get these broad spectrum products, they're going to have much more, much more medicinally efficacious. And so, um, I think CBG is going to be the next big cannabinoid. Personally, um, its effects are very moderate psychotropically, but it does have very excellent neuroprotective and anti-inflammatory effects that will be beneficial for patients who want to use it as a medicine or a nutraceutical. And of course, being an antioxidant and antibacterial, that's going to be very helpful for just general health in general. And so, um, just some interesting things about CBG. So, I got this from one of my very good clients, Mark Martini, um, out of Oregon. Um, he is producing pure CBG right now from some plant materials, some strains created from the Crawford Brothers. Um, what's nice about it is CBG can use the same crystallization equipment as CBD. So, example, my equipment for Turnkey Lab Systems, the uh, crystal production system, 150 liter unit, which is used to make CBD, can also be used to make CBG. And so as long as you have a potency that's high enough to um, do crystallization, which in distillate is actually quite lower than CBD, um, you can make crystalline CBG using the same techniques. And so the crystals are actually beautiful. I'll bring them kind of up to the camera here. And you can see it's a white powder and it forms like very hair-like projections. It's really a fascinating kind of crystal structure. It looks kind of like asbestos. And so here I can kind of take some out here, show it to you guys. Oh, oh man, super rare and I'm spilling it on the ground. So you can kind of see here, really interesting kind of light, super fluffy crystal. And so I have some in my pen right now, which uh, I have been smoking it, so it's pretty good. Yeah, the stuff that Mark makes is completely tasted, tasteless. I can't really detect any sort of terpene or hydrocarbon. And it's actually pretty good. It kind of has like an orange sort of citrusy aftertaste. And the effect is fairly immediate. You know, I find myself feeling much more relaxed, much more lucid. Um, it definitely reduces the effect of THC. I smoked a bunch of THC earlier this evening, and I definitely feel that, like, you know, high kind of decreasing by the second. And so, yeah, just kind of very interesting effect. It's almost like CBD. It's very similar to CBD. And so, anyway, I highly suggest this. Um, if you get a chance to try it, I would... Um, definitely support that. And I really think that CBG is going to be, you know, the next big cannabinoid. CBG or CBN, one of the two. Possibly CBC. Those are the next three, anyway. <laughs> well, um, thank you for your time, and hope this was helpful. Cheers.